it looks to me like there's a much better chance of building a stadium downtown now that there are new terms. A proposed $200 million downtown soccer stadium won a city council's vote to give the development partnership until December to finalize the proposal. The Cordish companies and Finley Sports and Entertainment now have to work with the city to figure out how to build a stadium without public dollars. The major concern was public money going in to support a team which would be privately owned. Now the team can be privately owned in a stadium that is also privately owned. The city was against investing $50 million in the project and using money from the park's budget. No matter what might have been contemplated, the city would still have a responsibility to provide what is known as the infrastructure improvements, bringing water, sewer, helping power come there, all the things that go to it, and, and maybe even a deal on the land. The 24,000 seat stadium could have many joint ventures with the community. And my guys are the next level of going to the pros, so we'd love to see this work out just to give them an opportunity to maybe uh, have a local team to play for. The 61 acre lot near the Performing Arts Center would be a multi-purpose stadium. It could easily be used for football, for major high school and even university games. There's rugby, there's lacrosse. We could do rodeo there. We could do concerts. You could even do a tractor pull or a monster truck competition. All of these things are possible. I'm very hopeful that it works out, uh, but it's going to benefit, I, I think, uh, every, all the parties involved. So. Reporting for Studio G, I'm Nakaya Berry.